hey guys welcome again to my channel in my previous tutorial on flutter with payment gateway a request come up saying please can you do a tutorial with code igniter so in this video today you'll be learning how to create and verify payment integration with code igniter 4 we'll be using the latest version of code igniter to solve this problem okay so with no more delay let's dive straight into it the very first thing to do is to open a new tab so let me close the previous one so open a new tab and head down to code igniter code igniter code igniter so i'm going to type code igniter code igniter code igniter so i will go to the landing page of code igniter and as you can see we are at code igniter site so i'm going to download the latest version so during this tutorial in your own time it might be the latest version you can also use the same format for it and as you can see i have the file already so i'm going to click on save the file has been downloaded on my on my root folder already so i'm going to go to the file directory where i have the file so i'm going to scroll down to the zip folder where i have the file which is framework so framework 4.1.4 4. so i'm going to extract it I'm going to extract it to this folder okay so let me look for framework let me refresh my folder f5 so framework 4.1 okay so we have framework 4.1.1 now in this framework 4.1.1 there is a new upgrade in it that has to that does to deals with the usage of um, Laravel 8 format like it's kind of coming together in same format so this is the folder now so I'm going to open this folder in my code so code it and Laravel 8 they are they are coming together as a like so I'm going to open my terminal now to launch the coding data so to do that i will go to their documentation because i'm not really used to code data i'll go to their documentation online documentation running your app um uh, running your app so i'm going to scroll down and see php spark self that's what i'm going to run here so php spark self now as you can see my server is running already so once my server is running i'm going to open this url localhost 8080 in my browser so let me override this so i'm going to say localhost 8080 port 8080 okay so here we have it welcome to coding data 4.1.4 good so all this content here now we are going to override it or or create a new method and point it to it so we can decide to create a new method or point to the one we have there so we're going to have controller home controller create a new method let me create a new method so function function uh, let me zoom my screen sorry so you able to see what i'm doing let me close this terminal okay i, th I think you can see my screen very well now let me zoom again so that it be very visible okay so function make payment make payment so function make payment now this method will be returning a view that will be created very soon in our view folder return a view of make underscore payment make underscore payment now we will be returning a view of make payments in our method here so this view is not defined yet so i'm going to click on this on the name then head down to my view folder create a new file called make payment.php sorry make payment.php now in my make payment.php i'm going to be using bootstrap 5 so to use bootstrap 5 let's head down to bootstrap website and say bootstrap bootstrap sorry bootstrap 5 so let's let's get it let's get bootstrap 5 to use on our page so that to make our work faster so i'm going to copy this copy this now paste it here 
after pasting it here uh i'm going to okay i don't need the power for now but nevertheless let's enable it okay so the power has been enabled our J, our um, bootstrap js has been added also automatically on this copy so what we need now is the um is the jquery so i'm going to look for jquery jquery cdn jquery cdn okay so let me click on the jquery home page uh, modified so copy close the tab close the tab go back to this place now above this bootstrap bundle i'm going to add the jquery syntax there now my jquery has been added so let me take out this guy here so if i save this now and refresh the page you will see nothing will happen so the reason why it's not working is because we haven't routed it so now to do the routing i'll go to my i'll go to my um config config then go to my route now my config go to my route now inside my route you are going to find a place where we have route definition where we have the get and we can also use the post method so i'll be declaring my own route now so i'm going to see make payment make all together or hyphen make payment plus anything you like to call it so make payment is the name of the url and the pointing will be make payment make payment which is the method that i defined this method here this method here is what i defined here so make payment so if i navigate down to make payments url now it's going to come up what we um, what we defined is going to come up in our view so as you can see oh sorry cannot find the page why okay let me use underscore to then underscore make payments oh okay sorry something is wrong wow still is not working make payment yes make payment is defined oh 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 sorry look at it i'm very funny my definition is different here. make underscore payment so let me add underscore good now it's working now so let me return to this iphone method i don't like that method so i will return to the iphone method now so go back to my route turn it to iphone i'm not really used to um, coding data so i use laravel most now this is it now it has been fixed so in my in my page here yeah, I'm going to generate the body so I'm going to be using bootstrap 5 methods I'm going to say div dot container div dot container dot um, padding padding 3 dot padding 3 sorry padding 3 or py3 top and bottom so py3 then dot um, text center so text center and once that one is done we are going to create h2 that says pay stack pay stack payment sorry pay stack payment 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 in code igniter code igniter 4 save refresh as you can see we have these sets pay stack payment in code igniter 4 so after that has been done oh sorry let's try to make this a a cool a cool way so I'm, let me guess i'm going to do div header so i'm going to do the div header inside my header i'm going to have this guy here so the container will be extended to form to form to form section so now i have my header defined with the pm padding top padding bottom text center now this container can also be extended to other section so in another section i'm going to be having my form that's where we have the form that we'll be using now so the form will now be okay div dots or we just have a section directly inside here so i can just have a section or using div you can use anything you like you just the main thing is making your payment so inside my form inside my section i'm going to use form inside this form 
I'm going to introduce a um, method. Actually, we are not posting; we are using Ajax. So I'll just use a get method, or just leave it the way it is, and point and hide it to it. So hide it, make payment. So we'll be using an ID make payment. ID make payment. Now inside my form, I'm going to define the input feed that we are accepting for paystack so this input feed we don't know yet so we have to go to paystack website to grab the input feed so let me save this now and refresh the site it's still the same thing so i'm going to my paystack.com to grab the UHA interface so paystack.com to grab the user interface okay so we now we navigate to the developer home page so i click on overview on the developer home page sorry uh documentation not developer home page so we click on accept payment accept payment accept payment so under the accept payment we are going to navigate down to the form section where we have the html now just copy this output because it's still in bootstrap format so you copy this output copy this output copy sorry copy the outputs and paste it in the form section so save it now we have the email we have the amount the first name and the last name and we also have the button